Welcome back guys to the Oak Farm Fire YouTube channel. Just heading out to look at some more timber because as you can see in a minute, we've gone through quite a lot of it. So we've gone through pretty much all of the left hand side. We've gone through all pretty much left hand side. We've got oak, beech, uh, some oversized ash, and then back down here we've got cherry and then we've got some softwood here and the rest of that is ash that side. So, um, summer's pretty much here now. I mean, it's, it's been hot for a good couple of weeks, it's lovely. Um, all the harvesters are cutting and uh, the forders are out. So, we're gonna look at some timber, buy some more timber, make sure it's the right grade for that new processor. And um, yeah, and then get haulage arranged and get it back to the yard. So, um, I think it's the 5th, yeah, 5th of June today. Um, so yeah, it'd just be good to get some more timber back in the yard, really. Well, I just apologise for the slow up of videos. Pretty full on at the timber yard recently after getting the, uh, the new machine. We've had the new machine uh, oh, just, just over a month. Uh, and there is some content obviously just come this will come after the videos um, but we just I really wanted to get my head around it and I uh, didn't want to have to worry about videoing when I was doing that really there's a quite a bit of learning making sure everything's working working right but now it's all dialed in and I've myself got got pretty um, equipped with it it's it's a lot easier so the content will definitely start to flow out now um, we've done very well with it. I've done two arctic loads and two arctic loads of loose that is and then I've also done 350 bulk bags um, in the the new the new shed that I'm renting. So we've got like a second depot now. It's only about 15 minutes away which is ideal. Um, just increase my capacity for this winter. Um, I had 500 bulk bags last year for seasoned, probably looking at about a thousand, maybe 1200 this year. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So yeah, we just, it's just, um, it's just quite a bit of work, just kind of juggling things, juggling money. This time of year, it's, you know, buying timber, paying finances and stuff. It's a bit of a tight, tight bit of the year, but um, we're looking all right, we're doing well. And I can feel this this winter is gonna be a really big one. The, uh, the factories, I love it, what a machine. So me and Jack can do a lot a day now. Um, probably four times more than what we were doing with the transor. Um, granted, you need the right timber. So I do understand there's a lot of people in the UK that are somewhat struggling to get hardwood. I don't know whether that's because they don't want to pay the money for it or uh, they just, you know, physically can't get it. Um, we're pretty lucky down here in the south. Uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of ash dye back coming out and um, other woodland thinning. So we're pretty, we're pretty safe at the moment. Um, hasn't really had a knock-on effect down here yet, which I'm very thankful of. Um, but we've got about a 20 minute drive to go to the block that is being taken out and I'll see when I get there and we'll talk through what kind of grade I need, what other grades there are out there. So yeah, the timber is super local and um, it's great in the aspect that it, it looks really good on the product because it's not come very far, it's locally sourced from managed woodland but it also uh, reduces the haulage costs, which is fantastic as well. So um, lots of benefits to it, really help out local businesses, um, local estates, etc. And um, yeah, we'll see when we get to the wood. Up to Camp Roads, Bin Man. Uh, 
as you can see, we're not short of woodland around here. And it's all been unmanaged for years. So, what's happening now is people um, having to, to manage their woodland properly, put in thinning exercises. Chipwood. So this is smaller grade firewood. Perfect for a smaller processor. It's the harvester. A big old Cummins lump in it. Does sound good when it's running. So this again was an unmanaged woodland. It was recently bought off someone and um, all the ash then had to be stripped out but it's let a lot of light in the woodland looks a lot better and then this lot here is coming down to me so this is a slightly bigger stuff this is my kind of grade between 250 and 450 gorgeous timber very happy and that's the oversized see why I have to be taken down. So as you can see this is what it's looking like before it gets thinned out. Very overgrown. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. We've now got Starlink at work and um, that has made a hell of a difference to uploading the videos and the connectivity to my CCTV. So um, yeah, over the moon with it, had it for a little while now, a couple of months and it's night and day different to the, the 4G connection I had before. So um, yeah, love it. Um, now it takes about five ten minutes to upload a video, uh, you know, a video for you guys. So that's another good thing. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a comment and a like. Let me know what you thought of the harvester and the forder. Um, drop a comment if you want to see a, more of a video of that working. And um, we've got more timber in the yard, which is fantastic. So we'll crack on with processing, more drying, lots of cages out in the rain today which is a bit of a bummer but it doesn't go that far backwards um you know the sun will be out tomorrow i think and um increase naturally drying before it goes in the kiln so that's going to be it for this video and we'll see you on the next one cheers